Yeah, uh, you mentioned um, Sam Austin's support of the Yes campaign, that divisive bid to change the constitution to pit Australian against Australian. Um, this week, uh, the Australian Electoral Commission has released uh, the figures uh, for the donations to that uh, voice referendum that was held last year. And uh, lo and behold, it's revealed that the Yes campaign uh, spent around about $50 million, uh, twice as much as the No campaign. Mm -hmm. Well, it might be an interesting point here, Lyle. Uh, perhaps if, if they are keen to change Australia Day, uh, October the 14th might be an appropriate day uh, because that's the day Australians stood up and said, we're not, get, we're not putting up with this woke nonsense anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I will always have a great deal of affection in my heart for that day because Australians really stood up and made their, their views known. But to get back to the, to, to the question uh, that you've asked, I mean, if I was a shareholder in some of those yeah. uh, those corporations and, and big businesses that have put, kicked in millions and millions of dollars, I wouldn't be very happy uh, because uh, not only did I not get value for money, I didn't even get the right result uh, as far as they're concerned. I mean, these people have made decisions based on what I don't know. Uh, they have kicked in uh, millions and millions of dollars of money that is not theirs. That sounds familiar, does it? Albanese had it again. Uh, but, uh, you know, as I say, if I, if I um, was, was a shareholder, and I don't hold shares. I, I avoided it like the plague just to be on the safe side. But but um, if I was a shareholder in any of those companies, I would be livid. I would be furious uh, that they are playing with my money for political purposes. You know, it's, it is not the, the, the role of a CEO or a board chairman or anybody else to be using shareholders' money to play politics. That, you know, that, that's not their job. And uh, my, my own view is that anybody who was responsible for that um, last year should resign. You know, their, their integrity is in tatters uh, and uh, they should resign. Any CEO, any, any board chairman, any, uh, um, any, any board at all, they, they should all go uh, because uh, they, they have shamed themselves and uh, they have, uh, they have uh, just uh, absolutely shredded uh, their own integrity. Yeah, they, they absolutely have, Bernie. And I guess the only upside of uh, the voice uh, debate last year was that uh, it just shows David can beat Goliath sometimes and that common sense uh, can shine through despite being outspent two to one.